Now, in culture news, it's the final day of screening at the Cannes Film Festival. We're going live to the French Riviera to Eve Jackson, who's been keeping us up to date over the past two weeks. Eve, hello. We're starting with a powerful film that has got critics talking. Yes, the incredible movie, Capanium from the Lebanese director Nadine Labaki. Now, um, it explores the poorest slums of Beirut through the eyes of a child. And we see 12-year-old Zayn fighting to survive and eventually taking his parents to court, um, suing them for actually giving him life and bringing him into such a world of dreadful poverty. Now, the performances in this film are just outstanding. And the director sought out real-life people whose lives are actually similar to the characters which they portray. So the main character, Zane, until recently, really was um, a 10-year-old delivery boy on the streets of Beirut in the slums. And his sister, the character, the girl actress who plays his sister, um, is actually a Syrian refugee who they discovered um, selling chewing gum on the streets. Uh, earlier in the press conference, the director, Nadine Labaki, told us about the misery that she saw there. We went to many places which are very problematic in Lebanon, with prisons, juvenile detention centers, associations which help these kids. And it is only after listening to all of their stories that the idea for the movie came quite naturally a child suing his parents for bringing him into the world. These, ki these kids who, when you'd ask them, are you happy to be here, most of the time they'll, they'll say no. This film did have a 15-minute standing ovation when it was um, first shown, first premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. Um, some say that Labaki threw everything on screen uh, to try and melt some hearts, some people calling it poverty porn. There were um, child marriages, there are Syrian refugees, there's child trafficking and just pure poverty and lots of it. Now, um, many of us, including myself, left this film screening sobbing and even talking about it and thinking about it now makes my eyes um, quite moist. Uh, Nadine Labaki is a pioneer in um, Arab, in the Arab world. Um, she's only the second woman uh, from the Arab world to have a film in competition. Uh, she was here a few years ago with her movie in 2007, um, Caramel, and it was the biggest international hit in Lebanese film history. Well, next we're going to a French film starring Vanessa Paradis. very different film this one it's called knife and heart it's from Jan Gonzalez now this is only his second film his first film was here it was called you in the night and it showed an orgy staged by a couple um, with their transvestite maid starring the footballer Eric Cantona and um, his new film sees Vanessa Paradis in 1970s Paris as a director of gay porn films um, her attempts to make a legitimate movie are um, ruined uh, by a serial killer. Take a look. It's set in 1979, so we had a lot of fun with the costumes. We started looking at silhouettes and the red boots, and bald green coat came to mind immediately. That really makes the character, along with the bleached blonde hair, the wig. 
We saw the movie Blondie and thought we need to find our Blondie. I think we've been very fast. Hugh Jackson there in Cannes. Thank you very much.